Hi kids, this is Sherry Rita from Wilmette Public Library. And I'm wondering if you're feeling something special in the air these days. Maybe you can see it on the news or hear about it at dinner time. You can definitely see it in lawn signs all across town. Election season is here. Now, you might have been part of an election yourself. Maybe you voted for class president or a club president. Maybe you voted for your favorite books in the Wilmette Public Library's March Madness playoffs. If you did, you got a first-hand experience of voting. Elections are important because they give us a voice. You know, not everyone can go to every meeting or be an expert about every law, but every American over the age of 18 can vote for the president and other representatives that form our government. That means every American adult can have a say in how our country is run. If you're interested in how elections play out, you can check out the library's stories and resources about voting. We have nonfiction biographies, picture books, chapter books, novels about all kinds of elections, including the big one this year. So here are some favorites I wanna share with you. Uh, the first one is called Give Us the Vote. It's by Susan Goldman Rubin. And this is a thrilling, inspiring collection of chapters that feature different individuals and groups who fought for the right to vote. You can read this and meet a whole new set of heroes from every time in American history. And then if you want to go a little lighter, there is this book, picture book, called Vote by Eileen Cristolo. Now this explains through cartoons and text how voting happens, and what you might want to think about in order to vote wisely. You can share that with your parents and help them make some wise decisions. There's also another book, similar book, called Vote for Our Future. It's by Margaret McNamara and Micah Player, but this one actually tells a story it tells the real true story of Stanton Elementary School, which closes for the day on national election days and becomes a polling station so people can go there to vote. So this tells the story about how all the different voters go and vote and it reminds everybody that every vote counts. What would it be like to lose an election by one vote? It happens. Um, there's also The Big Deal About Elections by Ruby Shamir. Now this book, it's skinny, right? You wouldn't think it'd be so full as it is, but it tells you a little bit about everything and anything you might want to know about voting. For example, in 1926, William Hale Thomas boosted his campaign for mayor of Chicago by getting on stage with a cage full of rats and yelling at the rats like they were his candidates and you know, like they were his opponents. And you know what, he won, he won the election. And that must have helped. Lastly, I want to share with you a new fiction picture book. Have you heard of Iggy Peck Architect? Or Rosie Revere Engineer? Or Ada Twist Scientist? Well, Meet Sophia Valdez, future prez. This is about a girl who's too young to run for president, but not too young to make change. And that can be you. What do you want to see in your world? How can you help make it happen? Pick up some of these books or some other books about voting, and you might get some inspiration for yourself. Hope you do. See you around the library.